Hi guys, welcome back. It's a great New Year's. I hope everybody enjoyed your New Year. We're in 2023 and this is my first video for 2023. Hopefully you all had a great New Year's. Had a great bringing in the great New Year's for 23. Goodbye to 22. And we'll do a lot more exciting stuff this year. Thank you for all of you guys who watched my last video. Made it a great success. We've had over 1,100 or 1,200 views. That was excellent. Today, we're going to talk about Tosan Pan. The secrets that Tosan's hiding. What is Tosan hiding in this form? There are some amazing secrets. Not much for tournament fighting, but we got some great stuff here for real world fighting. Okay, Tosan's got some amazing, amazing lessons. A lot of people, their application, their thought process on this form is completely different. I don't know, but these are the secrets that Tosan has been teaching me for years. And I've taught this to, to my students for many years now, and it has revealed some awesome, awesome, great, great fighting techniques for street fighting and for real world fighting in this form. Talking about that. And there are actually a couple of techniques which you can also use in tournaments and we'll talk about that too and we'll demonstrate that too and with that being said let's get back and let's see what Tosan has to offer okay we're going to start out again with Tosan pattern I will do the pattern first and then we'll talk and break it down again like we did with Chunji and Tangun we'll break the form down we'll go over it and we'll see what secrets what jewels are hiding in this beautiful mountain cave called Tosa. And with that being said, let's get to the form. So Tosa pattern starts out with blocks and punches, goes into knife and blocks, spear finger strikes, spinning back fists. Again you do out of forearm block, reverse punch strikes. Traditionally, this is the block, a hechomaki, a spreading block or wedging block that's done. I, in the IPTF system, in my interpretation and in my system, what I teach, I teach this form differently. I don't do a spreading block, but I do more of a frame block, and you'll see why I do that. Okay? And then you have your front kick followed up with a lunge and reverse punch on both sides. You've got two rising blocks, and then you have your knife and strikes, and the form gets over. So again, great form. I love it. It is one of my favorite forms, and it has tremendous street fighting applications in this form. With that being said, let me first do the form for you guys, okay? Tosanio. And that's your Tosan pattern. What do we start out with? Out of forearm, reverse punch. Great, great, great fighting technique. I have used this block so many times in a street fight, especially with guys who come swinging or they bring a weapon, a clubbed weapon, and try to attack you. Anything Basically, it has a circular movement of an attack. Great block. And believe it, it's not just a block. Remember, it's a strike, too. Uh, let me have Jason here for a second. Sir. So, come on, Jason. So, say we're in an altercation, and Jason throws a swinging punch at me, a haymaker. What a great way to stop. And at the same time, with this outer forearm block, I'm actually going to do some damage to his hand as well, okay? So, it's not just a block, but I'm also actually taking care by hitting his hand so hard 
that's going to actually injure his forearm with this block. Okay, so one more time when Jason attacks me, I'm going to stop him from here. What do I have next? Your punch coming in. Great, great technique. Right there. Another way you could do with this app the same application is as soon as he strikes you, boom, both of them come at the same time. And I get them right in the chin, jaw area, if I have to, in the body, wherever I have to. It doesn't matter. As soon as he does that, again, if somebody's grabbing you from here, there you go. That's my outer forearm block. So, come over here for a second, Jason, so we can see properly. So, if somebody's grabbing me from here and tries to throw a punch at me, again, I got this block. Again, the same block turns into a strike where I strike him in his pressure point area. This is a great area to strike, and it can put a horse or a bear down. I mean, exaggeration bear, but you never know. I never fought a bear. But it can put a bull down. It can put somebody like a bull kind of man, like a strong man. It can pull him down, okay? Because this is your brachial plexus origin, pressure point. And imagine you're getting hammered over here with that. It's going to send shocks and tremors in your body, okay? So great way to stop even somebody who's grabbing your shirt, okay? So there you go. Same thing with the knife and guarding block in Tosan pattern. So there you have your knife and guarding block, same thing. This basically is the application in Tangan Tosan that you're doing your knife and guarding block. Somebody grabs your shirt, boom! And you're actually striking them with that block right there, and you're jamming his hand right here. Then from here, you can actually even go down in wrist locks or whatever you have, you know, if you want, if you like doing things of that sort, and put in a wrist lock and get him on the ground, right? Arm bars and stuff like that, okay? So those are your first great two applications. So Jason swings at me from there, boom! He walks into that, he walks in. And I'm not getting, I'm also moving in. I'm not moving back. So he moves in and I move in and wham! And he walks into something really devastating, okay? And that is your first great move for a street fight. Pahoosa! Right from there, pa, pa! Or pow! Same time, right? You have to go boom, boom. It'll be like boom, more dynamic. And I'm going to actually hurt his hand when I do that in a real fight, okay? Now, supposing he comes with a clubbed weapon as well. It doesn't matter. Same thing. He's going to strike him. It's going to work the same way. Same way. I've taken guys down in real sweet fights with, and they've had clubs and sticks and stuff like that. And I've knocked people out with that, okay? I've taken them out. So, same thing. You're actually moving in, stopping them with that outer forearm block, and putting him down, okay? With a punch right in the head. Just the other hand, so they can watch, yeah. Bam, same thing, right? The block comes in, the punch comes in, okay? So, that is your outer forearm block reverse punch combination application. We spoke about the knife and guarding block. Now, what else? What else do we have in Tosan pattern? We have the knife and guarding block, and then we have the spear finger strike, and we have this movement. So, this is basically a parry. So if Jason throws a punch at me, that's your parry basically, okay? So you parry him from here, and the punch comes down, the punch comes down, and you actually push him downward. It's, it's, it's a downward pushing block. After that, yeah, you can, I mean, put the spear finger right in his throat. And so right from here, these are, again, very sensitive points where you can put your finger in and actually hurt somebody pretty bad. Feel that, Jason? Yes, sir. Okay? And a sharp jab. Sorry. And a sharp jab. Okay? Now, think of this combination that you have, okay? So if I'm, if I'm here and Jason wants to throw combination punches at me, like a left or right or a right left, whatever he's standing in, if he's got a lead leg forward or that leg forward, if you want to change the leg or whatever, and then, or switch whatever you want for the camera, and then throw a punch with that hand, 
bam, and towards the punch with the other hand, what do I have here? I got, I got two blocks. So this is your knife and block, and there you go. But here, you, you can do this very swiftly, boom, boom, right? Boom, boom. Right from here, you can actually, that thing can come into an arm bar, taking a guy down, okay? So think of this again one more time. So Jason punch rapid punching, boom, boom, okay? You gotta punch me, man. Bam, bam, okay? This is it, and that's your spear finger strike. But I can reorient my fingers, spear finger strike actually in an arm block with a little turn. So there you go, and you are actually utilizing this whole movement into a great movement like so, okay? So again, one more time, he's there, and then he throws a left jab at me, bam, bam, same thing. This is my first finger strike, but I can actually spear finger strike, holding him from here and throwing him on the ground this way as well by putting pressure on top. And you see how the techniques are so advanced. These techniques that look so simple, and if you just tweak them right and understand what he's trying to teach you, you get some amazing advanced techniques right in your yellow belt, orange belt forms in Taekwondo. These are so deep. But you have to have that mindset and that understanding of what the form's trying to teach you. Okay, I'm not picking on other masters that they don't have an understanding. If they do, they're not teaching their students. But like I said, I don't like to hold knowledge back. I want to give it up. So if I don't do that, I'm going to screw things up for everybody else. And it's not going to grow. Okay, it's never going to grow. All right. Now when we speak about back fist. Right here. Spinning back fist. Boom. Boom. Here you have your spinning back fist. Great. Great, great, great technique in a real fighting situation. Or in a tournament. Okay, so great counterattack, spinning back, oops, sorry, spinning and throw a back fist. Again, even in tournaments, boom, you can throw the back fist, or in a real fight, you can throw a back fist. So there we go, we have your back fists. Okay, your front kick, punch, you can use it anytime you want in any situation. Wherever it opens up for you, you can use that situation. Now let's talk about that wedging block. It's a great entry technique, okay? We're teaching that for orange belt level students, yellow belt, orange belt level students. So, supposing, by the way, supposing Jason again throws a punch at me from here, right? Uh, with the other hand. Okay? What do I have here? This is the same technique. I'm actually entering him again from here, blocking and blocking. This is your spreading block. This is your frame block. Right from here, what can I not do? Start throwing elbows if I have to. Start throwing knees if I have to in a street fight. Does that make sense? So that's what you do, okay? Right from here, he throws a punch at me, boom, I'm gonna enter him. Other hand, doesn't matter. From there, boom, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna still enter. Enter for one shots if I have to, go to guillotine. I mean, there's tons of stuff that you can do once you're in there. You're already in his space, okay? Also, this works wonders even as if you tweak it a little differently and if somebody's trying to shoot and take your legs on the ground, so it's the same block, okay? It's the same block. You can actually throw your body back instead of moving forward and throw your hands forward and stop it. So Jason comes shoot me real good and then I got him on the ground from here, I can stop him and do whatever I have to, okay? So that being said, these are all the lessons that are being taught in this humble form, Tosan. It's so basic, but you have to understand what the form is trying to teach you. Get that understanding. Again, if you guys really like my video, please share it, forward it to people. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe to my channel. Tell your friends to subscribe to my channel. And one more time, wish you guys all a happy New Year's. It's good to see you all this year again. And we'll make more videos this year and spread the knowledge. Thank you very much. Stay safe.